Welcome to the Hawaii Rhino Fishing Show. Mahalos for tuning in. This week, we're gonna try a little different variation of the type of fishing that we normally do. We'll get to the video in a quick sec. I just wanna thank all of you guys. Everybody who watched last week's video, you guys heeded my pleas to drop a like if you like the video. Maybe in a couple days, I got twice as much likes as I normally do within like a whole week's time span. And I don't know if it was because you guys really liked the video or if it was because you guys didn't want to see me die a slow death on my couch watching Hallmark movies for the rest of my life. So whatever the case may be, guys, big mahalos. And if you guys like this video as well, smash that like button, maybe over there. Okay, so on to the video. Uh, this was actually from December. Uh, one of my best friends, El Paco, you've seen him in a couple of the videos that I put out already. Um, when we go holo holo and El Paco comes with us, normally El Paco is the wingman. We need bait or he helps set up the pole. I mean, that's just that's just how Paco is. He's always willing to help. He's willing to learn things. But for the most part, he never really like get his hands dirty and stuff. So um, this week he called me up because he wanted to break in his pen raft combo that I got him for his 50th birthday from Brother Bill and Company good price by the way I told him hey you know what we go check out one spot kind of close by where I stay we can do multiple types of fishing there and hopefully we can get you know he can learn a lot and we can get you hanapa so we'll see would that happen stay tuned to find out also guys stay tuned to the end we'll talk a little bit about the vid we'll also talk about some of the tackle that I use I've been getting a lot of questions on social Facebook Insta, YouTube about some of the some of the tackle that you guys see in the videos. So we'll do a little show and tell on that. And <clears throat> lastly, I got some shout outs coming. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh, right before I started shooting this, I got I got a little bit of action. So we'll, we'll put that out right here. Yeah, right there, first of the morning. Okay, you gotta be careful taking this guy out. Okay, you see where the hook is? Bang, right through the lip. Okay, so we gotta be careful taking this guy out. Get yourself a good pair of these things right here. Okay. Battery's turning, so I cannot see. Right there, and then you just work them away. Okay, you just work that thing. Ooh. Loosen the line a little bit, Pocho. Try to get as deep. Try to get as deep on the shaft as you can. Okay, I might have to take this guy to the ground because you see how the you see how the hook is all the way on his lip, all the way to his lip like that. Okay, get the bait out of here. Okay, we're gonna set this bottle free. Okay, to the vid we go. Here we go, heading out west. Paco, step on the gas. At the spot setting up the poles. Good eco strip. Okay, now with the eco strip, 
what you want to do is you tag them through the top very top one time okay then you pull the eco all the way back okay and then right there go through at least another time now if the eco is fat sometimes you can leave them like that but for me i go through one more time three times okay and now because we stay in bait stealer land the magic string okay and the magic string. yeah the magic string you start you hold you pinch the fish eye hook eye and sorry then you just kind of go around the bait and you're gonna go many many times okay right. many many times and you want to try to uh get close to the fish eye as possible hook eye. i don't know tight. why i keep saying that that will kind of hold it on so no, they cannot just rip and slide that thing off, okay? Like that. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir, bro. All good. Okay. A few moments later. Let's see it. Let's see it, my boy. Hanapa. <laughs> <laughs> right there. My guy on the board. First cast of the day. <laughs> That's one less. Uh, Maybe I'll throw you back in the deep spot. These guys are pretty hardy though. Throw them in there. So we're going to send out raw shrimp on the leg and raw eco bottom leg. Or one puhi. Or one balloon fish. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, that's not one. Okay, that. No, bro. Uh-uh. No, no more head turns. It's something, it's something just kind of like, it's going to be a balloon fish, bro, something, guarantee. I'm not feeling head turns. So, on Puhi, what is that? You see him? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah, you see him all balled up. So. Yeah, you can tell, bro, when you start fighting these guys, and then you're going to know, like, okay, this is just, this is dead. Oh, that's one fucking monster one, bro. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fastest I've seen Paco move since football freshman year. Oh, that's one monster. Okay. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Holy snacks! Okay, yep. El Paco with another Whoa. bell ringer. Fish on? Oh, when you hear that, that's your drag. So you gotta tighten your drag. Oh. Okay, okay, now try. But have one, have one fish, you could yeah. feel them. Okay. This is what you do, so you don't snap the line. Put it, rack them, rack them for a little while. Okay, you might have to, you might have to loosen the, That's yeah. Right. So what happens is, so what happens is the fish will run under one shelf or in, inside one hole. Yeah. And sometimes you just wanna wait it out. Cause if you fight too hard, you, you, you might snap the line, yeah. So what you do is, yeah. I can see, but the line is tugging. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. Okay, so do this. Tighten them a little bit more. No, um, uh, the line, not the drag. The drag, you can leave it. No, no, the drag, you can leave it. The, but what you want to do is you want to tighten it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just so that. So that way, you know, get, get tension. So if the fish pull. Buckle loose, yeah, then you're gonna see the tension come off. And then you know, okay, shoot, he's loose now. Maybe the kind, maybe I can try reel him. Okay, so we just go leave this guy for the kind. And we leave him maybe for about five minutes and then we'll see. Yeah. After yeah, about a minute, his line came slack. Let's go. Oh, that's it, Pete. What we got, brother? My guy. Oh. Bring him up, bring him up. Oh, I want another puhi. It's okay. Welcome That's to okay, my world. Huh? Okay guys, we at the spot with 
Brother Pete, El Paco, over there in the chicken fight stands. It's hereditary. Say hi, Pete. Okay, we're about to throw the lines out. And of course, we get company out here. So, they stay kind of far. They're not going to interfere with us, so it's all good. Um, right here, we're going with fish cam. And I'm going to call this the Brother Bill special. When we went bottom fishing this past week, Brother Bill on this, well, except for the straws, but on this rig where he put this pinkish curly tail and he went at Ika, he caught two ukus. And um, I think he got the catches of the day um, that day. So we're going to try them over here. Right in this area, it's pretty deep. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not expecting for catch uku, but we see what does bite. All right. This area gets pretty deep right off the rocks. So we're gonna try some hold dunking over here. Yeah. Round one with the fish cam. Fight! So for those of you that are not familiar with hold dunking, hold dunking is just another form of dunking. Normally it is used in areas where you know there's plenty fish um, hold dunking also is used primarily if your target species is small to medium game size um, and basically you set up your rig just like you would your regular dunking rig but because the action is going to come so fast to your pole um, you just you just hold the pole and you feel when the bites come, you try set it right away instead of throwing the line out, taking them up to the sand spike, racking them, and then waiting for the bell to ring. Um, and you know, hopefully, you can get better success at least at trying to hanapa this way. It easy Hawaiian. We already had that video already. Oh, this is stuck. Okay. How many is gonna die right here? I mean, again, guys, I don't know who was in the spot first, us or the boats that was casually passing by. But I mean, they get a boat because they can go wherever they like over there. <laughs> There's only a certain amount of coast where we can fish on and. You know, it was a good thing. I think brother, I think brother that was on the boat told him, "Hey, you guys fishing over here, so maybe you guys can um, dive a little bit more west, so as not to interfere." So big Mahalo's brother that was operating that tourist catamaran or whatever you call those things. Okay, P, we might have to change spots over here. <laughs> Yep, bugger swimming the other way. Blood pressure going down. And apologize for you guys um, who get motion sickness easily. Um, when you hold dunk and use the fish cam, the cam kind of spins around a little bit. So hopefully you guys can handle that. Because the water is about maybe 15 feet deep over there and the day was really overcast it was kind of hard to see where all the ooh, there was a nice size popio over there um, but yeah it was kind of hard to see where the sand patches was where I could drop my line in safely without getting snagged because this area over here has a lot of high uh, reef rocky formations and I was trying to lay my bait and pretty successful right right over here in this spot over here but you see that's the danger right there when you try and for reel them in and then she hung up out of the reef over there so um, i was lucky the thing was able for break off and not get stuck over there so here's another drop and action right off the drop and oh that's a nice beautiful colored grass I don't know if you can eat that guy. I mean, I know you can eat them, but I wonder if the thing tastes good. 
lot of mammals in there, a lot of triggers, a lot of Hinalea. So doing this with the fish cam is a little bit of a challenge because I can't really feel all the bites coming when it happens. Because of the weight of the fish cam, it kind of prohibits me from feeling all these bites and stuff. So I just got to kind of guess or unless I feel a really big tug, then I, then I would bring it up. The other thing too is the pole I'm using is a beef stick which is a medium heavy but if you guys know what a beef stick is really beefy not as sensitive to um, bites and stuff but I gotta use that pole just because I need a heavier pole to handle the weight of the fish cam as well as the, um, the rig. Seen some Joe Louis Moana Kale passing there. Um, yeah, bite them, bro. Ah, uh, freaking hummus, bro. They, they love mopping that bit. Look, him. He just took that piece of Ika right off. But yeah, you know, using a fish cam, bro. Sometimes it hits the bottom, and I'm kind of surprised that the glass on the camera doesn't crack as many times as I've let it hit the rocks. Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was I stole my bait already Yep, this time I'm gonna make it a little harder for you Okay, so I was getting tired of keep changing bait, so we switching them up to taco leg, and you know taco leg, it's um, it's a lot thicker, uh, it's more rubbery. Yeah. They cannot just bite them and vacuum them and suck them off. It takes a lot more work to take off a taco leg than it does ika. Yeah. Okay, after a couple drops, look like the bait's still on. Inside, yeah, underneath. Okay, here we go with the instant replay. Slow it down and on cut taco leg right there. Moana, bang! Moanas are really good eating, guys. Deep fried it, bugger. Put a little bit of garlic inside. Cherry. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control, and the steps you take them. I try to pick one right. thought, have some concentration. Let's see. Uh, I don't know, bro. So, you know what? Maybe the kind pee, we can change up your rig. Alright. Can I put them in that, that pipe too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> When unhooking a goldfish, try to slide your hand around the top of the eyes and slide your thumb right above the top of the dorsal fin so that way you don't get cut. Hmm? What is that, Bob? swimming all the way here. Yeah. <laughs> Paco spotted some crazy guy swimming way out. He's f got a sign. Not even diving, no fing, no floater, nothing. Just swimming. Let's just go swimming. Crazy, huh? Sorry about that. Okay. All right. We'll do this, Pete. So we're gonna try a little different rig setup for El Paco's pole. Oh, you get the tree hook one. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So just unclip that. Okay, always the kind um watch your in fact yeah bring your grab your pole bring them over here okay now you can mm -hmm. kind of work it you so you can put your lead put your lead here and you get three hooks but uh 
three hooks and then just bait them with whatever and then what you do is there's like one small sand channel where we shouldn't get you shouldn't get snagged and and the same thing like how you was doing you just feeling for the bite you should be able to feel if the fish is on if you feel the fish is on then you just reel them up okay like that. Oh, what is that bro it's his taco leg oh that's on monster yeah so just hook them on there actually smaller hook so you can probably go half but the taco is gonna stay on way better than the kind it's a monster yeah, yeah. taco on it for grab my bait what's the new intro back no no it's not the one i intro back this was from this was from like maybe um when did i get this this was from like maybe um a month ago but it's good just so long you don't keep um to finish that thought just so long you don't keep defrosting and then refreezing the same bait the thing gonna get nasty after a while okay this doesn't look like a really good spot <laughs> Small kind of snake, but you know what, we're getting action over here. Um, the humu oh, you see on Papio in the back, and these Hinalayas is ripping. We got Moana just dove into the rock over there. Uh, he's trying to get into the action. I'm trying to pull this thing out at the same time, and boom, right there, Hanapa. See, this Papio is on, he's on, and I cannot get the lead loose. So I can feel the tug, I can feel it, feel it. And I'm freaking pissed right now because the lead is stuck and I'm not sure up above what is actually stuck. I don't know if the fish is stuck or if the lead is stuck. So I'm scared that if I pull too hard, you know, gonna snap the fish off. But you can see the papillo right there. It's like, bruh, he's on right there. And so I think I just rack it for a little while and then you guys gonna see what happens over here. is fighting fighting and then boom pull he comes in i think brother just in bust his lip off he's like oh hell no i ain't getting eaten by this freaking puhi while i'm hooked up over here so then he comes off puhi comes in boom puhi grabs my bait now the puhi is on that same bait bro this is what i'm talking about though taco leg i'm telling you taco leg survived the pupil and now taco leg unfortunately he's got the puhi and we'll see what happens to this puhi over here Slow mode it for you guys. Okay, check this out. Brother is doing his um, knot of death right here. And then boom, right there. So I thought they do that just to like make it real hard on fishermen to try to get their hook and stuff back once the guy's on a power. But they actually get on purpose for doing that damn thing and he got off. So right on, good for you. And as you guys can see, that cut piece of taco survived two pretty much hits. And the thing's still going. And still get fish, still trying for pound them. So yeah, man, if there was any <clears throat> question on whether what bait is the hardiest and might last the longest on you guys' hook, right there, cut taco. Okay, so it looks like the Humo Brigade is over here and they're taking shots at the taco. So, yeah, we'll see how long it lasts. Um, the Humus, yeah, they can 
that's the one fish trigger fish can really shred up on bait um over time but yeah you, you can see i mean it's but yeah again the taco leg if see if that was eco leg power ready couple of those little vacuum hits and the thing will be gone but yeah still going even the hinaleas over there is just ripping them Ooh, okay you see one um good size black hoggy coming around hovering over there and uh sensei calls those black papil <laughs> especially for you big island folks because get choke in a big island um and uh yeah i wouldn't mind if the thing went hook up right there that's some good size for eat okay cute little cole comes in um that's good to see you know you go diving on oahu nowadays and there's very limited spots where you get cole or you gotta go like much further out than you normally would if you was on any other island so yeah nice to see that cole pop in Some of you guys have commented asking what those red straws are for um, attached by the hooks and I learned that from Hey Skipper which is that uh, mainland YouTube guy that, that does really cool videos too. Um, but yeah the purpose of the red straws is to kind of avoid things like this where you see the hook is kind of tangled up on the main line. Normally the red straws will keep your bait out away from the main line swinging like how it is right there. and keeping the bait elevated and stuff so yeah, for the most part it, it seems to work okay back on land trying to help teach Paco some of the whole dunking techniques as soon as I walk away this happened and my boy Paco trying to muscle it up and pack away how's it, how's it? Huh? oh <laughs> okay okay oh. yeah okay yeah. that's, that's a big one bro oh yeah you felt them yeah so so the trick is you wanna when you drop it in let it sink and then reel it up slowly so that your line is tight so that you have tension and that way you when you feel the bite as soon as you give them like a couple bites doo -doo 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 -doo, bah, and then yank that stuff okay. so whole dunking really does have its drawbacks um, especially if you're dunking in rocky reefy areas yeah ultimately nice sandy areas would be probably optimal but then again you gotta figure if get fish so again on this line I have the fish cam down there and it snagged <laughs> so yeah um, I'm kind of thinking I might have to jump in but you know what probably the best thing is Give them tug, 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 and rack it. And sometimes, as you guys can see, fish might come up, bite the hook. They'll actually pull the line, the hook or the lead loose, whatever it's causing it to snag. I hope that fucker come loose and then I can... I don't need to jump in, but fuck them. I don't mind jumping in. No, I have to. <laughs> Pete, <laughs> no jumping. <laughs> yeah. What is it? It's stuck. Stuck, yeah. 
Ooh, I felt something on them too, but I don't know. Sometimes when it's stuck, what stop happens? Them, stop them. What? Pulling. pulling. Let me know if it comes like real loose. Let yeah. me know. Look up. See look. Look. Oh. oh, that could be the kind. You see the waves? You gotta watch the waves. Sometimes it's the surge. Sorry, man. Okay. I'll Nah, bro. No make like that, bro. This is how this is how fishing is, bro. It's good. At least the kind, bro. At least we hunt a power today. Sir, some man, some for you, man. some days is the kind. Some days we go bolos. So, um, you know, it's just how it is. Or well, some days only eel. Some day just hook up turtle, <laughs> which I really don't like. Some days for all you know. Some days. Okay. Okay, give the pole a little bit of time to set. And here we go. Oh, buckle loose. And looks like I got my camera back. I'm not sure if I got the rig back too on that one, but yeah, main thing got the camera back, bro. <laughs> Okay, frustrated with all the snagging, I decided to go old school, try a little hand pulling, but unfortunately I didn't have the right kind of lead that I normally use and even the, the hooks that I use to hand pull, so yeah, just try them anyway. Rain started for set in, so El Paco went for get his um, rain jacket. And right here, El Paco snag over. There's like a, almost like a little island rock in front of where that cliff is. So smoke kind snaggy on that rock over there. And I never like leave. I think he had the floater rig on top. So I never like him just bust off and leave the floater over there. Had to go and um, walk over to that rock. And I found somebody else's golf ball rig and a whole bunch of line that they had just snagged, broke off and left over there. So I decided to go clean that up while I was over there. Yeah, my poor lady always told me never turn your back on the ocean guys and at any moment one big set could come in and wipe me oh. out right there so always be looking back so right over here i'm telling el paco eba show your line show your float over there because get all that open area bro you're not gonna snag on nothing but i don't like jump back down on those rocks again <laughs> so easy when it's wrapped there you mother flowers plenty of bait stealers was just pounding my bait when I drop it down so I wrapped it with the magic string still on barely okay I'll get out of your way so you can cast them no need to throw them too far just kind of go back to that and then whoop. yep just watch you know hook on a rock yeah there you go okay not bad that's one that's one decent spot just watch them watch clock it she talked down bro you gonna yank oh 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 right up right up oh oh <laughs> boss off oh the <laughs> oh bro i gotta get this on the that was about a twenty dollar reel I got off Amazon a couple of years ago. Snaggy, snaggy. Yeah, get that. That's the. I think that's the high rock. That's why right there. Okay, yeah. 
<laughs> oh shit! Sorry, bro, Pete. Yeah. I, I set you up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. Nah. I'd rather use this pole just because. Um, uh, yeah, just not this f***ing real anymore. No, no, bro. This is one. This is one China. This thing went last long time. So no worries about that. Something went ground. No, could be. Okay, so what we can do is this, yeah. <laughs> oh, bro, that's funny. I thought the pole went boss at first. I was like, oh, damn. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, bro. I'm no, bro. Bro, nah, nah, nah. You know what that means? It's time for new equipment. That's what it means. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, 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 bro. You don't mean nothing, Pete. For real. The f was ready for go if that's the case. I had this for a long time, so that that's that's one reason to um, you know, when you get home, wash down your wash down your poles with fresh water. What your real, especially. Yeah, I don't always do that. You know, if I know, like, I'm going fishing the next day, I leave because I get the pole holders in my car and stuff. But I try to. Nah, no need soap. You just wash them with fresh, just to get the salt off, so it doesn't um, so it prevents the. I said all the salt. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly from the salt. Yep. You know when you get high rocks, you gotta avoid them. Avoid them, yeah, avoid them, cause they'll <laughs> they'll the kind they'll snag on the high rocks, like that. So if it gets too close, so the best place to cast is cast them a little bit further out. Those my tackle hooks. Okay, you can probably. Maybe a little bit more comfortable with your pole to get it a little bit further out. But if you get it in that that pocket over there, Sandpaper. yeah, I know this one is a little bit harder because you see how short the butt is on the. I, I could tell you he's having a little bit hard time with that. Yeah. The the butt portion of the thing is real short, so it doesn't. You don't have this kind of um, catapult action with that pole. Um, but with your pole, you can launch it a little bit further out and then just kind of reel it into the sweet spot Where it's close to the high rock, but not right directly over the high rock Oh, okay. yeah, come on, bro. Let's get something I feel it, bro. I feel it in my bones <laughs> you gotta watch the release. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, so no need the kai, no need rip them, bro. You can just throw them lightly. It's just all about the timing of your release. Okay, just watch your step. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, he in perfect, bro. Perfect. Okay, and you just want to tighten your line a little bit. And then you watch, bro. Something yanks that f***er down, you're going to yank back up. Wait a minute, this f***er... Holy shit, bro. Okay, something down there is f***ing... Something just bit the whole f***ing hook and everything, bro. Big. Yeah, bro. Or could be on Barracuda. Sharp, huh? It a bit the whole. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's go. So that was about the second time something just bit the whole hook off everything. Never even pulled nothing. Um. So yeah, retying it over there. Um. I think I went drop on heavier pound tests on that right there end of the line that 
hooks to your swivel from from the hook line that's a surgeon's knot right there always cut the tag end or fishing scraps into the bucket just when I started to think Paco wasn't gonna hook anything good today okay, and then a kind and then oh what you got what you got what you got oh huggy brother oh that's a dozer bro Okay, you gotta tighten your drag. Yee, my boy. Oh, bro, that's some killer. Okay, brother, look more excited. Okay, Pete, you're gonna have to take this home and you're gonna have to cook them, bro. <laughs> and if you don't know how, you can watch uh, you can watch my video, Cooking Catch. Alright. <laughs> the thing is, reel them up. Bro, that's on, that's on fucking hammer one, bro. Excuse my language. That's on hammer one. Okay, right on, bro. Here, wait, wait. Just so I can uh, kind of get one still. Okay, right on, bro. All right. Okay, now, bro. What good fight it was? Yeah. Yeah, this one huge one, bro. Okay. Oh. All right. Give me some filet, okay? Give me that fish. Yeah. Okay. Give feed back his filet of fish. Give him his fish. Oh, <laughs> yeah, bro. Can be challenging to get the hook out because the ah, mouth is so I'm small. Okay, you know what? Bring them over here. Hoggy. Trigger, trigger fish. Yep. Dang. This brought on. Okay. All right. You gonna, you gonna find them? You gonna keep them, man? Okay. Make them. This is delicious, I'm telling you, it's like white meat. See, you can take the sutures off. Sorry, Mr. Hoggy. But if I go and keep on fish, I try to bleed them out or dispatch them as soon as I can. Okay. Yeah. I'm cool for now. I'm going to put fresh water in the bucket. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm Yeah, no worries, he did. Just yeah, he grab wasn't him. dead. Yeah, grab him by the. Yeah, right there. Yep, right there. <laughs> yeah! All right, you're not kicking ass to it. He is? Normally, one brain shot would do the trick for most fish, but I tell you, these hoggies, they're like the terminators of the <laughs> ocean, bro. They just keep coming. Yeah, I shouldn't have put him in here, but... Come. That hoggy will live to see another day. Fish spawn. Bam! Bam, hug it down. Sweet. Come on, bro. You guys know you guys like this blood meat. Nice. Oh, right there, bro. Look at that. That's some fucking barracuda. You see that right there? Bro, get one huge barracuda. See, that's what was cutting everything. Bro, right, right there. This fucking probably going to cut mine, too. Bro, you, do you see it? Oh, you know what? Bro, you, you got to get you one. You have, I right? I get Bro, there's one huge, one huge barracuda, bro. That's what I remember over here when things cut. Wow. Yes, bro. And I never even... Never did taste barracuda. Yeah, me neither. We pack up, roll them over there, and that way we can just cast out and stuff. Or... Well, I don't know. What time you got, what time you got a bag, bro? You get, you get curfews. I gotta go bathroom. That's all it is. Bathroom? No, not now. One or two? No, not yet. I'm just saying, that's the time for work. <laughs> Oh, oh, I mean, if number one, bro, oh, yeah, get plenty yeah. of time. No, you can. Two, time for days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why well, you feeling one eruption no, coming no, on? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> 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 Funny, bro. That time we went with um, no out there. Yeah. Oh, shit, bro. I like, I gotta dig, boys. <laughs> I gotta dig. They might be closed. No, they open. <laughs> Nah, snaggy. Okay, now we can move. Okay, guys, my boy Paco over here freaking caught his. Bro, when the last time you caught one fish? Like, not tilapia. Oh, this fucker's still alive. Like, big jokes. Huh? That's what you get. 
Bro, caught this monster hoggy. Brought a Pete on the board. So now we're in switch spots because we like get some fish cam and some some relaxing dunking action in so we can actually celebrate his the kind and he gonna cook them up tonight too this guy. So we get blood meat on the bottom. We get Ika, like the full-on Ika with the tentacles, and then we get shrimp and it's all wrapped. And then let's see what bites. Last cast of the day with the fish can and as you can see pretty much all the fish are congregating around the blood meat hook and the ika and the raw shrimp not getting much action so far but um, you know we got some Hinalea we got some Moanas and they're tagging it they're just taking turns just tagging that bug over there so as the Hinalea comes up smacks the raw shrimp and one thing about the raw shrimp is you know I think just by watching the videos of the fish cam I'm starting to think that if you peel that skin off of the raw shrimp like if you get the whole shrimp and you peel the shell off I think that makes a difference guys I think that the fish when they bite it and they bite when it's the raw meat I think they start to go for it a little bit more Yeah, back on earth you seen that this freaking hoggy bro he's still kicking bro this guy i went stab him in the head brain shot like freaking five times already and he's still going and you know i see him on a corner of my eye uh, el paco went to go refresh the water that he was in and I, I was like you know what bro i gotta put this guy out of his misery already and look him he's still going that's like shot six and seven right here i'm almost about to cut his head off but it's still kicking, unreal. Okay, back on the water, same, same. Looks like the fish, they all just attacking that blood meat down there. But yeah, I mean, back to that thing, bro. It's like, you know, I don't like, I don't like the fish to suffer. If I catch something, I'm not gonna eat them. I try to put them away as quick as I can you know if I go bleed them out you know I go bleed them out but other than that I try to give them the brain shot just put them to sleep right away you know what I mean okay here we go Moana finds the raw shrimp finally and two of them now about us competing over that raw shrimp and I slowed it down over here so we can kind of see what happens and you know looks like brothers try to vacuum it in get one Hinalea in there trying to get into action but these two Moanas is just going at it over here and yeah I think the piece was a little too big for the size of these guys if not Garen Sanapa the shrimp was a little bit smaller the hook was a little bit smaller um would have been able for hana power but that's okay you know i i'm trying to target something a little bit bigger and yeah look them they still going at it bro these guys slow it down here here's another shot yeah those himalayas is just bro nuisance it's not what i want bro okay you see him he's trying to vacuum it in his mouth but that piece is just too big for him I know I said it earlier in a show, but I mean, any type of goldfish, guys, any type of goldfish, you just fry them up. No need to use nothing except maybe salt, that's it, and oil. Fry them up, and the buggers is on them. And you just put that with rice, vinegar, shoyu, pow.
okay back on land and i just gotta tell you guys i love where we live i love where we live and you know if you guys live here bro you guys should feel lucky you know what i mean like even one overcast day bro look at that water you know what i mean there's no place on earth like this that's why take some pride malamala aina Okay, threw the pole out and look them. I know even throw the bell, but that thing is just whacking, whacking already. Okay, so you guys never see because the video got cut off, but but I got stuck, end up snapping a line, unfortunately. So back to the fish cam line. Okay, so here we go. That raw shrimp is starting to gain some attention. Looks like that Moana was tearing at it, and now we can see even a even the um, Ika right there. Hinale is just in bus off on lake. The Moana still working that raw shrimp, and the Hinale has come in and they start nabbing it too. Um, so yeah, I don't know if the blood meat is gone already, but. You know they starting to work the other baits um right there slow-mo and you can see this one hinalea just tears on big chunk of that raw shrimp right off and you can see that hook right there uh, no more nothing but scraps on top of them so yeah that just happened Okay, here we go. The bully comes in, and Humus look like he's working what's left of the blood meat, and boom, there he goes. He starts for take some shots at the Ika, and now everybody's paying attention to the Ika. You can see the Humo right there, bang! Right, you see that? He just didn't rip off pretty much all the legs. Only get like a nub on there so yeah i mean basically now pretty much no more nothing <laughs> on the hooks except for like on scrap so i mean yeah they these guys didn't work them so i don't know if i'll say other than i mean this besides the moanas like nothing really that i, I wanted to catch so it is what it is you know just seen. I mean, who knows? Maybe something big comes around later. Okay, right as I see that, boom, boom, it's hoggy time. Look at these black hoggies over here. Bro, look at them. Get two right there, nice size, and then get two in the background just cruising around. So, I mean, that's four hoggies. So, I mean, these buggers, they travel in packs over here. And there's nothing left for them already because. All these other guys can go um, cockroach them. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the good and bad thing when you use the fish cam. Sometimes you see what happens, and it, oh, check this out, guys. This is cool. One whole school of surgeons, okay? That would be Manini, Palani, Maikoiko, Pualus, I don't know what else. Oh, Nai Nai. Um, you can see right there get one a kind get even one pananu look like swimming with the pack over there so uh man i love to see that kind of stuff um what i know really like seeing is when guys just come up with tronet like randomly and they just take half the pack right there i mean that nah, you know what bro if you gotta go feed your family take care of ohana that's fine bro but i mean if you just catch in just for flex bro yeah i don't really care for that kind of stuff but you know what i mean food is food 
Me and Tigna are going to go to waste. Yeah, I guess I'm all good with it. But we here on Oahu, guys. Okay, just keep that in mind. We like save some for the cakey. Okay, back on Earth. El Paco checking out his catch. And either he was saying one prayer or sniffing his fingers. I don't know. Okay, and as a good wingman always does, brother went straight to the cooler. And yeah, it was a good day, brother. You know what I mean? Pink! Yeah. Paco, you earned that, my brother. Enjoy it. Okay, back down under, and we see Bang! That's some big wrasse. Okay, I don't know what they call that one. That, that purplish with the yellow tail. Man, that thing is beautiful. But uh, he comes around, and he's like, bro, there's no food here. What's going on? So. I mean, yeah, that's the only thing with the, f oh, okay, you see that circling in the back, check it out, you can see more of that guy. Okay, while well, these butters is taking nimbles, check this out, comes in, whoo, 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 whoo. right there, cuz, look at him. He comes in and he's like, bruh, I see these floaties, I see these fluorescent yellow things, and wait, where the food stay? I'm not that dumb, I'm not gonna just bite these damn floaty things, and bang, he takes off, so, whatever. What I was going on, me and Paco just tipping back a few, reminiscing about the good old days. Don't worry about us, that's not killer way of going off, bro. That's just me trying to get this damn thing unstuck right now so I can bring the fish cam in. Boom! But I got free, right on. No need to go die for him now. Log one! Okay, end of day today. Paco got his first hoggy, and that freaking thing was a monster. So. It was a good day overall. We had bites. Okay, I'm gonna fill in the blanks because I forgot to roll the window up while I was doing this outro. But anyways, guys, I was just saying mahalos for turning in. Today was a good day overall. Paco got his huggy. He gonna cook him up. Big mahalos again. Take care, everybody. Aloha. It's a little clip of something that happened right before the outro. Okay, guys, another instance of aloha. I was over here fishing, I was just chilling down, sitting over here, listening to some sounds and I don't know if you guys can see that brother way down there fishing. <clears throat> brother went pull up his jeep like real quick like over mm -hmm. here so got me on high alert already because <laughs> um, it's kind of it's a little bit desolate over here so um, but brother just didn't ask me if it was okay for him to go and fish way down over there because he said hey man i'm gonna do some casting out um and you know i i don't want the uh splashing and stuff was gonna you know i don't know if it was gonna disturb you and your your fishing i mean bro that's taking a lot to the next step and i don't think he even watched my video either so. when i came up here this morning there was a brother fishing down there where he's at i was like okay but i got this corner i like fish over there like really last time me and fish dropper came uh we was getting hanapao over here on that side so i mean but i was like yeah you know what that's okay i'm gonna come all the way down over here i'm gonna fish on this side should be good to go yeah and everything was okay that that other brother left and then um but this brother came and went and asked me if it was okay for him fish way over in that corner i mean bro that's that's for real fishing etiquette and a law bro so we're gonna try to see if we can talk to this brother okay you know what that brother who came up and went and asked me 
if it was okay for throw his poles all the way down here all the way down here guys and you see my stuff is all the way down there bro you talking about extra courtesy bro and what's your name my brother david brother dave bro brother dave where you from dave i'm from washington from shadow i know i'm not a 49er fan but see, hey no. go see hot. <laughs> okay, you know what? Hey, you know what? I'm not a Niner fan either, bro. Oh, my, bro, my viewers know this, okay? So, you know what? Hey, I mean, he said go Seahawks. I think we mean go Chiefs, but you know what? Hey, it I'm is what it is. Before the 49ers. You know what? You know what? Me and, Dave will, me and Dave will probably be fishing on Super Bowl Sunday. So, yeah, go, yeah, you guys. That's whatever. Right, that's whatever. It is what it is. But I just wanted to come over here and thank Brother Dave, myself, because, again, guys, just like Brother Rocky did the other week, bro, this makes my heart feel good to see guys that have. Um, awareness they have aloha and they, i mean for real like you see how far my stuff is and brother was checking to see if it was okay for him fish over here bro far away yeah far away from brother ryan i stopped asked permission i said hey when you throw the hammer bomb and the splashing and the you know splashing and retrieve splash and retrieve if you got bottom rig set up or you got you know the the kind where it's uh live bait you don't want somebody splashing within so many yards it's courtesy so i i first ask permission hey is it okay and then i'm not going to be within you know you know I, in my opinion you need to give that 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 individual that style of fishing you know but it's i mean more than enough room see this brother they, you know and if he said no hey i would have just jammed it to the other side no, see, brother, no issue bro that's that you see that from from washington guys it's not even how long you lived here bro two years two years bro that's only two years he's been here bro and you see he knows the rules over here. i mean you know, up in Washington, you can do that. Well, I don't imagine get choke guys on the shorelines of Washington with poles out everywhere. Yeah, so, cold. so it's yeah, 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 exactly, guys. Unless they're getting on, uh, you know, king crab or whatever it is they get over there. Right. But I mean, this brother went the, went the, and and look, hey, um, you never the kind, you never watch. We don't know each other, right? I've never seen your channel. He never seen. Okay, okay, wrong answer. Hey, that's the, that's the wrong answer, brother Dave. Okay, that's the wrong I'm answer. Subscribe today, though. But there you go. See, right there. Forever follower, forever fan. Okay, right there. There, right there you have it my brothers that's how it's gotta be done right on much much love much brother love, Dave. much love all right hope you guys enjoyed the video yeah i mean you know we never catch anything like hammer size or anything like that it was pretty rainy that day and what i was really hoping like i said was that el paco got his first really good fight and you know what he did that with that hoggy that pink tail hoggy Oh man, he never even tell me that he was you in hook up. I don't even know if he knew if you in hook up or if he was fighting the snake. So <laughs> that's why I think he was maybe in a little bit shock. I was expecting him to be all stoked and everything, but uh, he looked a little bit more concerned when he was bringing that hoggy up. You know, for me, I don't care if I don't catch, but if I bring somebody out, you know, especially somebody who's new to fishing and stuff, there's there's no bigger high that I get. And when I see them on a par, he took them home, he threw it right on the grill like one collar. We cook them just like one collar, when, you know, uh, let them grill for about maybe 15, 15 minutes each side. And then he said the, the skin just peeled right off and the white meat was just on them. A couple other things with whole dunking, you can really feel that action if you're using a lighter uh, pole and setup. De depending on, you know, what size target you know target fish you guys are going for i gotta use like a medium heavy type because of the weight of the fish cam i don't want it to break the pole or something if i look up you know so less sensitivity i cannot really tell you know when the smaller fish are, are biting and stuff so it's a little bit challenging also guys when you guys are <clears throat> gonna do like one half day or all day excursion <laughs> One of the things that you guys might want to think about is where the bathroom is, okay? Because we all human, we all got to do our ones and we all got to do our twos. And so, you know, planning your day out, especially with what you guys eat in the morning or the day before, or maybe even better, what you guys don't eat. You know, like to me, I just, I just drink coffee so that it can force me to, you know, Clean out, clean out my system before I go holo. And then I really don't eat anything until maybe an hour or so before we getting ready to eat. So that way, you know, I don't have the, in case I don't eat, I eat something that's not quite right. 
I don't have to go rush and find one bush and tea leaves. No, not tea leaves, sorry. Not tea leaves. Well, not a kind leaf. But El Paco was good. You know, we, we stayed for a good portion of the day and he was able to, you know. So anyway, we'll, we'll skip past that part. A lot of you guys that have been watching the videos, you see these little floats and stuff that I put on my rigs. And you ask me where I get them from. Now, surprisingly, I haven't been to all the tackle shops and fishing stores here on Oahu. Uh, but the ones that I have gone into, I haven't seen I mean, They might carry them, but I haven't seen them. These are called Pompano floats, guys, okay? Pompano floats. And they, you can get this. I got this off Amazon. You can see this is the brand. I'm not, I'm not sponsoring these guys or nothing. Okay, but it comes. This is like 10 bucks. And it, this thing is full. This is like I didn't use half of them already. But they come in different colors. They come in different sizes. So they get like one medium size. They get one small and extra small size this is like 10 bucks right here these things last a while for the bigger baits so you guys see me you guys see me drop the opello and stuff down and try to or taco leg and try keep it afloat so this is the big size this is about a almost like a quarter quarter size diameter on this guy right here yeah this one will keep bigger baits afloat if you're using live bait and you want to keep it from diving at like inner layers and stuff you like keep them from diving into the sand drop this on them they won't be able to dive down well they may they may be able to dive down but they're not going to be able to stay down in the sand and hide when um you know your hulua comes swimming by um so yeah these are good and again one pack of 30 of these only 10 bucks hey to the shout out it's about to hit me up on facebook but a client kai akamano I, I hope i said your name right but he told me specifically what he uses his rig setup and everything and i may do a video later using that rig now i'm not gonna i'm not gonna divulge exactly the type of bait and stuff because i don't know if he wanted that blown up because you know can get this bait anywhere <laughs> so uh, but i will try to drop a vid that kind of shows that we'll see we'll see if the thing works for me i mean a thing worked for you brother clyde so you know i'm hopeful that you spread some good mana to me and, and uh, we can get some action. We can get them on a the fish can, okay? There's your shout out, Mahalo's Brother Clyde, okay? My second shout out is a YouTuber who commented on the last video um, and that would be Bloody Sniper 808. Bloody Sniper chimed in to, I think he was asking about the floats I was using. I sent a comment back letting him know and then he just dropped me a nice comment then. Thank you for the comment, made my day, ba. Oh. Also guys, just a quick public service announcement. February 14th, that's next week. If you guys never made reservations yet, bro, no, don't wait too long, okay? Because I tell you, all the restaurants and stuff, reservations get on lock the most of you get. So make that call now if you haven't already. And you know guys, you guys wives, your girlfriends, Okay, they let you guys go out hold on, hold on, sometimes all day, sometimes all night. I see a lot of you hammers, you guys bringing in a big stuff overnight, big moves, big ulus, big oils, everything like that. Make that day special for them, okay guys? Take care of your wahine. Or oh, Orkane, look, hey, it's the millennium, okay guys? Like, you know, I see bottles out there wearing pearl necklace and painting their fingernails and stuff. So, you know, uh, let's be all inclusive over here, okay? So take care of them, the significant others, guys. You guys know. We'll see, I never hear any bell ringers. I think I gotta go chum this water over here. So until the next show, take care of yourself. Take care of Johanna. Aloha. Wake up.